Hey everyone, welcome to Higan Iruthel. So this is finally a complete tier list based on the limited beta that concluded this December. Okay, so the disclaimer here is this is no longer up to date, but this is the most updated one. We don't have another update up until the game releases tomorrow and probably there will be movements in the tier list. So take this as a grain uh, take this with a grain of salt and also this will just serve as a guide for you guys to choose who are your you know your best heroes um, that you'll be taking tomorrow. Um, it also if I'm gonna tie this to a reroll guide, at least you'll have a have a reference on who are who are the top what do they do? Do they fit with your play style? And those things. Okay, so I'm really sorry. Um, I wasn't able to look for an updated tier list yesterday, but I kept on researching and researching and I found this one. So I will more or less um, give props to... Um, this is the username. So C86. So he's the user in the official Discord. I'm gonna give props to him. He so far he only has the updated tier list, that the most updated tier list that I've seen. Although this is no longer up to date, but this is the most recent one. So again, kudos to him for providing us with this tier list and this guide on who to look after or to look for early in the game, first thing tomorrow as the game drops. Okay, so we'll start off obviously with with your tier zero because these are your most sought after uh, what you call this sought after heroes. And uh, based on yesterday, I mentioned Eluya and Sirslet. There is no change really on my recommendation for them. Both I've used them. Uh, both have tremendous damage, so they are here at tier zero. I take them over euphoria here so euphoria this is a different version of euphoria i haven't used euphoria but um inflicts she provides buff inflicts debuffs and deal decent damage but again if you really want a tremendous dps go with sir slit or iluya and yori here is also dps but she's with hydro or water she inflicts a max tax of encroaching cold um again these four are going to be your targets for reroll unless you don't like to get a DPS for your reroll. Okay, so moving on to tier one. So tier one, we have here a couple that I mentioned as well yesterday for tier one. We have queen. Um, I was able to use queen. Uh, very good in terms of AoE damage. She is actually a contrast to Iluya. Iluya is more of um, burst damage for single target. So, again, Queen is AoE um, assassin. Siakom, I mentioned also, uh, can summon minions. Decent AoE damage. The rest here, if you want cold, black is actually good as well. These are DPS units as well that you want to, con you might consider if you are able to get them. So, um, what else? So, Follett is here, DPS. Mo Moted Motesju is a sub DPS. Again, a ranger. Rita is a sub DPS as well. Pyro Ranger, uh, Roko here. Um, Roko is 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 actually um, easy to get. Um, she's a healer, one of the healers that I've used so far. Liv is also a healer. She is with Hydro, and she has stacks of Encroaching Cold. You could probably use her together with uh, Yori, and who else? Black also has encroaching cold. So these uh, the encroaching cold mechanic is actually a b belong to the, the the new ones that were added from the first CBT. They were added in the final CBT. So who else is here in tier one? So Glyden here again, best tank so far that I have used. Um, you will. With her by your side, you will feel safer. But Caesar here is also a tank. So Lumino and can tank damage and heal allies. So 
uh, Caesar has, has heal. Uh, her double forms make her look very cool. So I think Caesar is a not as tanky as Glyden, but again, uh, she provides additional healing for your team. So you have a couple of healers here, Roko and Liv, sub DPS, and Shero is also a tank, so Hydro tank. Uh, deflector, deflection is her, you know, is her uh, skill for various situations and screamer so can heal multiple ally silence and uh, applies attack speed bonus makes her both a support and a healer in short she provides a great support i've used screamer but i wasn't able to level her up much she does give support she she's all around basically so she, she's actually easy to get as well so some of these are easy to get um they are of low rarity but their tier is actually high so this is your tier uh, one. So I would really recommend that you either select from tier zero or tier one for your reroll target. For tier two and tier three, these are your secondary targets probably. Um, Fenne I've used. Um, I would consider Fenne for tier one. So long range um, shooter, ranger, Deals good DPS, um, sorry, good DPS and good AOE as well. So Isa here, so crowd control can she can she can move, um, she can literally move enemies and placement. Uh, Cloar here easy to get. She is a good um, DPS for Animo. Deals AOE damage or a very large area. Furthermore, is very easy to start her up. Again, she's of low rarity. So Nuno here is a healer as well. But if you get the other healers on top, um, I think you will have to um, not use her. Basel here is a tank. Armand is, is a tank. Armand, I was able to use. Um, very decent tank. Can do good damage um for a tank so probably a balance of both so i got again she can be your secondary tank but there are a lot of tanks here in tier one so please do your you know it's really up to you guys on your play style on how you're gonna build your team how are they going to complement each other it really depends on who you're gonna pick you fairy here is a tank um probably you would be my my what they call this my least target for the tanks uh there are better targets than her nuno as well flores um there are better targets and for tier three these are the low ranking um characters in terms of tier so if, if some of them are are easy to level up that is why you consider them in the early game but um if you have the chance to get those on tier one and tier zero then please do get them. So Ume is here. Momel Asa. I haven't I didn't use Asa. Mireya I did use, but she she looks nice, but again, she doesn't work well for me. Um can can be good. She um but again I, I don't like her, you know, her play style. So again, it would it would really depend on your preference, on who you're gonna pick. Um, the tiers are just a guide on who is good overall, but again, guys, uh, be worried that it would de really depend on you, on who you want to build for your team, who you want to put together. This is just a guide. This is not the all, all, you know, the, the end of it all. So more or less, um, just make sure that you have uh, what they call this you have understood this um before we end this tier list i will put a link in the description for this one um the the guide for the tier list so that you could reference it while you are re-rolling tomorrow as well uh but i will i'll put that uh, what they call this i'll put this tier list as well in the reroll guide tomorrow when i'm done uploading it so there you go guys i'm sorry that i had to upload a different tier list yesterday this will be your last tier list before the game launches there will no longer be updates here and this is not up to date probably will have a new tier list or probably have small changes 
within two weeks to a month of playing Hegan Iruthil. And that is it, guys. At least this one, this is more complete than the previous one that I mentioned or just yesterday. So thank you, guys. And good luck with uh, your polls. Good luck with your team building. I also put other videos that might help you in team building and fast progression as well. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.